Hey guys, thanks for checking out this first tutorial video and today we're going to be discussing click track and loops and how we use those at Rivers Crossing and a lot of churches uh, use click track nowadays and I would highly recommend it. Uh, it definitely just tightens up the band and it just it's been a great tool for us and I'm going to show you kind of how we do it at Rivers Crossing. There's a ton of different ways I'm sure that you can do it and this might not be the best way but it's how we do it and it works for us and I guess that's kind of the main thing right so uh, the program that we use to run our click track um, and our loops is called Ableton Live and uh, I, uh, I'll mess around some in Reason which is a cool program and uh, make loops and work on loops and that sort of thing but uh, basically Ableton is kind of the powerhouse and uh, it's a great tool and as you can see, what I do is I, uh, I save all of my songs in one folder. And that way, all I have to do when I open up Ableton is click on the folder, and it opens up all the songs, and I try to keep them alphabetical. But uh, yeah, basically, it's just a huge master list of songs. And uh, some of them have loops, um, and some of them we only use a click track for. But uh, I have it organized. You know, you can see like click track sound is in this channel over here, this strip, and uh, I have all the loops right here. And then I've got uh, some kind of custom made clicks that I made in Reason. But uh, the cool thing about Ableton is that it's very user friendly. You don't have to know all kinds of software or anything like that. It's just super user friendly. And uh, when we first started using clicks, um, I was the one who ran it from the stage. and. Uh, a lot of times it's, it's good to use your drummer uh, to run the clicks uh, so that you as the worship leader don't have to really worry about all the transitions and that sort of thing but uh, when we first started out um, I ran the clicks and the way that I was able to do that and uh, some of you might not have a drummer that can run the clicks, so you need to maybe do what I'm about to show you here this is the ability controller and uh, it it's really cool for if you're in a band situation, you know, because you can control everything yourself. Uh, or if you're playing solo, uh, it's a great way for you, if you're playing guitar, to be able to bring in loops uh, in and out of a song that maybe you've written. Uh, and what I'm going to do now is just kind of give you a little sample of, of what this controller does. Uh, right now it's basically just going through an interface, and then that interface is going into the computer. And uh, that's what's uh, making it all happen. But uh, basically what I would do, let's say there's a four song set uh, for any given service or whatever. Uh, I would just go in Ableton and I would kind of map out the songs, which if you have any questions about that, just, uh, just shoot me an email or something. But uh, essentially, so let's say we have song number one for the day. Uh, and I don't even remember what it is, but uh, you just click the button. Glory to God, triggers the loop and the click. Another cool thing about this controller is uh, the way that I have it set up is there's this kind of separate mode and it's called Omni Mode and uh, you can get into it by just holding this button down with your foot and uh, what it allows you to do is say uh, your band gets off of the click track uh, which you know happens every now and then and you need to kill it uh, really quickly before things get pretty chaotic. Uh, this allows you to do that. so. Um, again, I'll kind of do that. I'll start the song and then I'll go into the Omni mode and then I'll show you, you just kill the click kind of thing. So uh, let's just start it up again. Cool, so say in that intro your band is getting off the click, just go in here, kill it. And, uh, and that's a cool feature for sure. Uh, another cool thing about Ableton is uh, the when you start a loop, uh, you know, you're starting like one, two, three, four, one, two. Uh, the loops will always come in on the one. So, for instance, if you're doing a song like we have Mighty to Save here, so one, two, three, four. 
barely hear that, but. So say you're doing another part for your chorus. One, two. So that's a cool thing is as long as you hit uh, your next cue before uh, the one, uh, then it'll just all fall into place. Uh, so it's pretty user friendly and uh, very easy. But uh, I know that I'm not really covering a ton of stuff, but I'm just kind of showing you basics of how we run our click track and loop setup at Rivers Crossing. And uh, if you have any questions, shoot me an email and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. But for now. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.